good afternoon I've got a cherry here it's the name of it evades me I think it's called Prunus something like Mickey Mikado or M Mickey Nardo something like that anyway I'll put it at the bottom of the screen so you know but I bought this from Morrison's a few weeks ago and I've not done anything with it other than took it out of its pot, put it in a slightly bigger pot with some better soil and I allowed it to flower. The flowers are finished now and I'm not going to do much. I want it to grow on this year this because it's only quite thin but I've selected one that I think has got good potential. So this really is a, a quick video, there's very little to it because I'm just, I'm just really looking at the options. This branch over here has got just two branches coming up, which is perfect. But this one here has got three. So the question is, which one has to go? There's no doubt this one stays the way the the trunk sweeps up and round I really like which means it's between these two so which one would you get rid of this is just a thin branch with not much at the top this is a thick one that forks and has got quite a lot of the tree but I'll generally always go for the thinner branch Hmm, see I can remove this centre one, no problem, absolutely easy. If I remove the thick one, that's what I've got to do. I'll generally always go for the, the option of remove the thicker one if I can. It's gone. There we go. Now, I'm going to do some cuttings with this. Because apparently um, cherries take cuttings really easily. I am going to leave that stump for a bit of potential dieback because I don't know if I don't know if cherries do die back in the way maples do, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. So I can always cut that back next year. It's actually opened up the tree now to let a lot more light into the centre, which is great. So this is going to flourish. No need to apply any wire yet. I mean, that could potentially be wired. Something like that. But it's no big deal and I can do that. I can do that in the future. For now, I've sorted out the basic structure with one chop. And that can just be allowed to grow. And probably it will go in the ground. So let's crack on with these cuttings. So this is as simple as it gets. It's just a branch being, I'm sort of half tempted to just stick that in and see if it grows. Or am I being greedy? Should I put these in as separate shorter ones? These are the conundrums of bonsai. You know, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to trim it down to get rid of some of the some of the foliage because there's just too much on there. In fact, can take it down like that down there there and I think 
I'll definitely remove these, the blossom. These are just budding into leaves. So that could be, this could be a really good time for doing this. As I say, I don't really know. <laughs> but has that got a chance? I'm getting rid of the, the thin, this thin stalk here. Because in terms of the shape of the tree, that would be that would be great if that if this would root seems like a long shot to me but they say they say they root readily so i'll just pull off these buds at the bottom give that a nice clean cut on an angle dip it in plenty of hormone hormone rooting powder and just push it into the edge of this pot using the edge of the pot to support it like that done now these pieces I've cut off I may as well put these in as well. I'll try creating a, a, a heel cutting by ripping that like that. Perhaps heel cuttings are good, good for cherries, who knows. Again, make a hole into the hormone rooting powder. There we go. How many have I got of these? Ah, this is a good one. So, I think this one, I'll cut off at this there's like a node there. So I'll cut th just below it, up at an angle. So I'm trying all the different, the different techniques. And I'd be quite happy if just one of these made it, you know. I've got one more. Yeah. Oh, that's got some nice movement in it up there. So, Again, I'll try a heel cutting, so I'll tear it off at the bottom. Remove some of this higher growth. Into the rooting powder. And in she goes. That's it. Four cuttings. I'll get those watered in now. And see how they do over the next few months. So it's getting on in the evening now. The sun's beginning to set. And I just, as I was just uh, preparing to do the final shot, I saw this home, my home being forest. And it's just beginning to look really gorgeous coming into leaf. I just thought I'd give you a quick look at it and show you how it's doing. Um, as I say, goodbye for today anyway. Uh, thanks for joining me as always. If you like what you see, subscribe and uh, I'll be putting another video, video out tomorrow. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.